All right, guys, so welcome back again. This um, should be what you are watching on Wednesday after our spring break. <clears throat> and um, so Monday, we just reviewed some general information about adverbs um, because you had been out so long. And uh, so what we're going to do today, as we have done with adjectives, we're going to move from single words being adverbs to prepositional phrases being used as adverbs. Uh, we really have already covered this also when we were doing adjectives. Um, we did sentences and we picked out prepositional phrases and we determined whether they were used as adjectives or adverbs. So this is not completely new uh, stuff for you either. Okay, so uh, again, these are going to be prepositional phrases used as adverbs. Um, <clears throat> for eighth graders, um, this is on page 135 in your book. For seventh graders, this is on page 146. So if you want to pause me a minute and get that, again, eighth graders, page 135, seventh graders, page 146, and you should see the title, Functions of Prepositional Phrases, Functions of Prepositional Phrases. Uh, for seventh graders, it continues on uh, to the next page. Okay, um, by this time in the year, you should definitely be able to identify a prepositional phrase. Remember, prepositional phrases begin with a preposition, and they end with an object, which is either a noun or a pronoun. <clears throat> Prepositional phrases function in one of two ways. They're either one of two parts of speech. They're either adjectives or they are adverbs. And you ask, well, how do I know? You know by the same way that you know whether a single word is an adjective or an adverb. So if it's an adjective, you have to remember the things that you've learned about adjectives. They modify nouns or pronouns. They answer the questions, which one, what kind, how many, how much, or whose. If you have a prepositional phrase that does one of those things, then it's used as an adjective. On the other hand, adverbs, as we went over and reviewed Monday, modify verbs, adjectives, and other adverbs. So if you have a prepositional phrase that does that, or that answers one of the questions, when, where, how, how often, to what extent, why, and under what conditions, then you'll know it's an adverb. Okay? Um, the ones that are adjectives, we call, you should see this in your book, it's in bold, um, at least for the eighth graders. Um, I don't think this is, uh, I don't think these, well, yeah, they are for the seventh graders. Um, you've got the terms in the reading part, it's just not in bold. But the ones that are used as adjectives are called adjectable prepositional phrases. And the ones that are used as adverbs are called adverbial prepositional phrases. Now, I've given you a couple examples up on the board so that you can see the difference. And I've also shown you how to diagram them. Uh, eighth graders, that's on the bottom of page 135 for you. And seventh graders, that's on the page, bottom of page 147 for you. Okay, so our, our first sentence is, the boy with the red hair stinks. Okay, so here's our prepositional phrase, <clears throat> with the red hair, and ask yourself, is this answering a question about stinks, or is it telling you something about the boy? And, of course, it's telling you something about the boy. He has red hair. 
So because it is modifying a noun, then this is an adjectable prepositional phrase, and we diagram it, as you have already learned, <clears throat> under the word that it modifies, with red hair. Okay? Now, a second sentence. <coughs> the girl went to the store. Now, the prepositional phrase is to the store. Is that telling you something about the verb went? Or is it telling you something about the word girl? Well, it's answering an adverb question, right? Because it is telling us where she went. And since it's answering the question where, and since it's modifying the verb went, it's adding to the verb, and that makes it an adverb. Now, you do not diagram it any differently, okay? This is the structure for diagramming a prepositional phrase. And you know that it's the same for adverbs as it is for adjectives. No difference. The only difference is where you put it. So if it's an adverb or an adverbial prepositional phrase, then we either have to put it under the verb, under an adjective, or under another adverb. <clears throat> if it's an adverbial or adjectable prepositional phrase, then we're going to put it under a noun and a pronoun. And so if uh, I ask you to diagram prepositional phrases, then the way that I know that you know whether it's an adjective or an adverb is where you put it. Okay, so remember prepositional phrases are either ad used as adjectives or adverbs. They're either going to modify a noun or a pronoun, or they're going to modify um, one of the three parts of speech that adverbs modify. And they're going to answer one of the questions that's in your book or one that I have added for you. <clears throat> All right, now one other thing that I want to give to you in seventh graders, I do not know where, the, where this is in your book. It is not in the same chapter as it is for the eighth grade book. You guys um, are familiar with how these uh, books are different, but uh, eighth graders, if you will turn over to page 137, and seventh graders, if you'll just listen, uh, there is a, a section called preposition or adverb. And the reason they put this in here is because some of the words that you identify as adverbs can also be used as prepositions. By this time, you guys know that. Um, I've said it many, many times over the course of the year. What part of speech a word is in a sentence is determined by how it is used in a sentence. Um, so I've given you down here two example sentences which show you how the same word can be an adverb and how it can be a preposition. It can't be both at the same time. In the first sentence, he swam around the boy. So you identify the, so you, you see the word around, and you say, okay, well, is this a preposition or is it an adverb? Well, does it begin a prepositional phrase? Yes. Does it have an object? Yes. So therefore, it is used as a preposition. But then we take the next sentence, and say he swam around for 30 minutes. Now you've got around again, but is it used as a preposition or an adverb? Well, the easy way for you to tell is if you have a preposition right next to it, then it can't be used as a preposition because prepositional phrases begin with one preposition, not two prepositions. Okay, so if you have a preposition following this word that you're not sure whether it's a preposition or an adverb, then that word's going to be an adverb. And the phrase will be for 30 minutes. He swam where? Around. And then for 30 minutes. Now this would also be an adverb prepositional phrase, but you also have a single adverb as 
as well. So when you're unsure whether it is a preposition or an adverb, look next door and see if you have another preposition. Because you're not going to have two prepositions beginning with prepositional phrase, only one. Okay? All right, we'll stop there for today. Um, we're going to move, um, once we get through with the prepositional phrases, we're going to move to some of the other verbal phrases that you're already familiar with, um, and then we'll move on to clauses, but that will be next week. All right, hope you guys have a good weekend.